Hey guys, very, very excited because we are here with the young man who's going to be flying Ukraine's flag at Eurovision. It's Alexander, and I hope I got the pronunciation right because everyone who watches me knows how bad I am with uh, languages. Alexander, how are you, first of all? Uh, hello, thank you. Uh, thank you for having me here. I am fine. What about you? <laughs> very, very well. It's been a long day, but I'm very, very excited to be talking uh, to you tonight. So, it's been a few weeks uh, since we first heard your song, Vid Kravai. Have I said that right? Yeah, it was. Okay, which translates as open, I think, or well, like is open, open up, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and um, how's it been the past few weeks since it was announced that you'd kind of won the won the process for Ukraine to represent uh, at Junior Eurovision? Uh, so uh, this couple of weeks we were uh doing uh, some small changes in our song it can uh, we can't call it like a revamp as someone says like we we just posted a music video uh we've been working on it for a long time uh we've been shooting it for two days uh, like uh about 24 hours in total um so uh, it was really hard but fun work uh some people in the comments they just say like uh great revamp yes <laughs> like nice work but it wasn't actually a revamp because we uh haven't changed almost not uh, everything because uh and on my opinion my song is finished and uh, i think that's how it should be on uh, eurovision well one thing that you will get to know about fans of eurovision and junior eurovision is they love a revamp even if it's only a tiny change uh, so they go they go crazy for it and you mentioned your music video so we saw that release uh yesterday it yeah. was Um, cause I remember you did like a promotional video before, uh, which was just you. And now you've got this amazing music video. So it sounds like it was a lot of hard work to bring the music video together. Yeah. So, uh, at first we had a, it wasn't a promotional video. It was a, uh, live performance video for a selection. So it was filmed from one take, uh, everything live, like vo voice live, everything yeah. live. <laughs> uh, and uh, it was uh, filmed for selection. And then uh, after a couple of weeks, we did a music video. So uh, we actually came up with, the, when a, with an idea, uh, kind of, I can't say uh, it was long, but uh, it was uh, not so easy. We just... Uh, uh, try, we're trying to figure out which idea we need here and uh, which emotion we should bring to uh, viewer uh, in this video. So uh, we finally got the kind of scenario uh, and uh, then we started filming it. And there's a little bit of a surprise at the very end of the video, yeah. something that I wasn't expecting to see. Maybe we shouldn't <laughs> say what it is in case people haven't haven't watched it yet, but maybe you want to tell us a bit more about the story of the video. Uh, so uh, the story was about a uh, guy who came to the city. He was new here and uh, yeah, he met uh, a girl. He just uh, saw her in the choreographic room like uh, accidentally. And then uh, uh, we figure out that uh, he's uh, he will be studying in the same class with her. So uh, they start like uh, communicating more, and they become became like good friends or maybe something more. And uh, we see uh, like uh, I can tell you just my opinion about it because uh, that's uh, what we thought about when we made it is uh, that everyone should uh, think about like uh, his own description of what's happening there so uh like he uh, when you're watching it you should just uh see it and then you see the ending and you your emotions are like what and the, oh, the main, yeah and the main idea was to 
uh, made the viewer watch it again. And I did. To figure out what's <laughs> happening here. Like, <laughs> to make the viewer uh, came up with like, okay, it was strange, but I should watch it again. Well, I'll tell you why I watched it again. One, because I like the song. But two, because I wanted to go and check that I hadn't missed anything because it was such a <laughs> yeah. surprise at the end. So it's a great way to um, to get people to watch it. Watch it again. Is that your first proper music video that you've been in? Uh, actually, it's not uh, because uh, before I filmed, uh, I filmed like uh, some music videos for covers and my own songs. But uh, it was the first professional one. Like we had a huge team of... Uh, um, of a shooting team, huge team of uh, another like television, uh, you know, Suspilne uh, Media. Yeah, yeah. Is the yeah, is the Ukrainian uh, national TV channel that organized the Eurovision in Ukraine. So uh, there was a lot of team, uh, lots of people from them. Uh, they filmed the uh, digital everything. And uh, I very, I am very thankful uh, for for it. Like it was amazing. So it was uh, kind of my first music video, if we count like professional ones. Did we want to know? Did you have one of those chairs with your name on the back of it that you sat on between takes? You know what you mean in the movies? <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't. But <laughs> it was okay without it. Actually, it will it will it will come soon because this will be the first of many uh, professional yeah. music videos. Uh, we think. Maybe next one I will uh, write it to my. <laughs> It'll be on your list. <laughs> yeah. So the song uh, that you're sending, uh, "Vid Kravai," uh, which you said uh, translates as "Open Up," um, is quite different to uh, lots of other songs that we've seen at Junior Eurovision, and I would say it's quite an arty song i don't know how you would describe it but is, is there a message in the song that you want to uh, kind of give to your fans and the viewers of junior original what's the message for you so uh if we'll talk about a, a musical side of my song so uh it's actually inspired by like uh soul neo soul and funk something like this wow. kind of life actually uh i really love uh the british guys uh, guys from london uh jungle you know them yeah they're my favorite band like <laughs> uh, i love them so much and uh uh partly uh we uh, inspired by them by also some uh great musicians so uh we did uh, a great work uh we did a song with uh mikhail Klemenko, adam his uh stage name uh, so he's a produ great producer from Ukraine. Like, uh, you remember Darina Krasnovetska in 2018 from yeah, Ukraine? Yeah, yeah, of course. So he produced a song for her also. So, uh, yeah. She had a, and, uh, I'm sure she had a trumpet on stage, but I'm not expecting yeah. to see you with, uh, yeah. with the trumpet no. this year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, and if we talk about, like, the message I'm trying to bring... Is uh, that you, you should open your heart to the world, uh, go help someone, go help yourself to uh, do something. That's that's it, I guess. And it's the perfect message for this um, this terrible year that we've had, isn't it? So that's exactly the kind of yeah. message that you want it people is. to take from a song such as yours. Now, just going back into the to the music video, we saw you uh, in a school setting for part of it. Um, I want to know what's the reaction been from your because you must still be at school because you're only are you 14 is that right what how old are you I, i'm how, 14. you're 14 I, I'm, a ninth yes. grade. I'm a ninth grade ninth grade so you're still at school yeah. so what's the reaction been from your friends at school uh so uh my classmates uh actually uh when i came to school like they uh didn't know it on first but uh, they just uh, knew it from my Instagram or, and everything, and they just like uh, were kind of happy for me. And uh, now when I come come to school, I sometimes can hear my classmate just uh, uh, walking around the class and seeing like <laughs> and trying to see me or listening. So uh, I guess uh, they kind of like it. Give it a few weeks, you'll be walking in with sunglasses on, surrounded by <laughs> loads loads yeah. of people. It must it must be a great feeling though to have all that support from your friends and your family, I yeah. guess as well. They must be over the moon that you've got the opportunity 
to do this for Ukraine. Yeah, especially my family. They're they're always supporting me and they are uh, very happy for me. Oh, that's amazing. But one of the most important questions, we want to know how many more Instagram followers do you have now since you've uh, since you've been selected? Uh, I guess uh, I don't really count them, but uh, I guess now I have about uh, six thousands. Uh, wow. But before uh, I had like uh, five thousands. I guess that's uh, uh, one thousand more than uh, I had before. But uh, I guess it's not everything because uh, as uh, other people say, like uh, Sofia from last year and uh, Darina from uh, 2018, uh, all the subscribers came uh, after the show. So, yeah, I'm, well, I'm still waiting. well, no, we, we're sure you're going to get them very soon. And you must have had lots of uh, messages from fans and people that love you and love your song. Yeah, I try, I'm trying to answer them, but uh, it's not like um, it's hard to uh, answer everything. So. Sorry. <laughs> well, that's what that's what happens when you become a star. You have, you have to you have to employ someone to answer your messages for yeah. you soon. So obviously we've got I think we've got about four or five weeks now to go until the contest. So I'm sure you're working on your uh, performance and how it's going to look visually on stage. I'm sure you want to keep a lot of it a secret. But is there anything that yeah. you can tell us about your performance or anything that uh, we can so, uh, what can you tell now uh, is that uh, we already um, decided who will uh, help us with the performance performance uh, it's gonna be a Ukrainian team uh, that uh, make performances for Jamala for uh, Melovin uh, and for uh, Chingis from Azerbaijan in uh, 2019 do you remember him I I do, and he um, he had lots of visual effects in his performance as yeah. well when he went up so, into the. Yeah, so it's gonna be cool. Yeah, that, that's uh, all I can. <laughs> I can see you can't wait to tell, but you can't wait for people to see what you're gonna do. I can see it. Well, we'll we'll be patient, um, but we're looking for. It sounds like you've got a great team uh, working on that. So. Looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Have you been able to give your own ideas on what the performance will look like? Have you been quite involved? Yeah, of course. We uh, we meet up and then we discuss about the ideas. And uh, actually, what can I say now that uh, performance is uh, like only starting to uh, become like uh, how it should be. So. Uh, uh, I guess uh, when it's going to be like uh, coming to the end, uh, I will polish it uh, do like to my uh, own opinion, I guess. Wow, you sound like a true, a true professional. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And it's nice to know that you're able to input into what your performance uh, will look like. Now, we have to talk about your voice because you've got this incredible uh, voice and it's a very distinctive voice as well. When did you first know that you wanted to be a singer or is it something you've always wanted? Uh, so uh, I started singing uh, when I was four years old. Uh, so uh, my parents uh, saw that I, I'm always like singing and uh, they told me like, do you want to go to the folk court? Like uh, court. I don't know. I can, I can uh, spell it wrong, but uh, some people... Don't uh, understand. Choir? Okay. Yeah, choir. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. sometimes forget how to spell it. Okay, so uh, they they brought me to folk car and uh, they told me like, "Do you want to sing?" I said, "Okay, we can try it." <laughs> so uh, I was uh, singing in this uh, folk collective uh, like for some years, and then when I moved to Kiev, uh, I started uh, to uh, do a pop vocals. So. Uh, now I continue doing it. So it's kind of a long journey, I guess. We can yeah, call a long journey, but you've got so much longer to go because, like we said, you're only 14, so you're you're very young. So this is really the start of your career, which yeah. is very exciting. Have you had any thoughts of the type of music you want to do going forward? You mentioned Jungle before and how much you are a fan of theirs, but have you thought about your own style? Uh, so... Uh... I guess this year's song uh, is uh, like the the most uh, 
the closest one to the style I want to do in the future. I guess it's uh, really seemed to the uh, kind of uh, music I'm listening to and very seem to a kind of music I'm uh, trying to produce now. So I guess it's going to be uh, sim very like sent to Vitkrivai. Uh, something in this style, maybe different, but not so much. So, wow, well, it suits no. your voice very well. So, mm. yeah, yeah. Now, if you weren't, um, if you weren't a singer now, if you were, or if you didn't, you know, if you didn't grow up to be a singer, what would you be doing instead? Do you think? Uh, if I wouldn't be a singer, yeah. So, say you weren't, you weren't singing now, so. Or, you know, what other type of job would you like to do? Oh, so it's hard, actually. But uh, I like aviation. So uh, I guess uh, if I uh, wouldn't be a singer, I would be a pilot <laughs> or something like that. I'm so scared of being on a plane. I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm going to tell I you a little planes. secret. When I went to Ukraine, I, I went on a train. It took me two days because I didn't want to fly. You went on a train because you're I went on a train. Me. Oh, God. It... I hate flying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't be scared. There, there, is no, there is nothing scary here. Like, uh, it's a very, uh, have... a very well-paid job, so it's a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess uh, I still want to be a singer, so... <laughs> Yeah, we don't it's, think you're going to have to choose another career because, you know, the fact that you're representing your country at such a young age, um, we think you've got a fantastic career ahead of you. Um, but going back to school, we're talking about other jobs. I want to know, what are your favourite subjects at school? And you're not um, allowed to play music. Uh, so uh, my favourite subjects, uh, I guess, uh, history. That's the first one. And the second one is English, I guess. Because oh, wow. uh, I like learning it, and uh, history. I lo I love history because uh, it's uh, kind of fun to know like uh, what the world uh, was before you. So that's why I, lo I, I love history. Yeah, oh, I was so terrible at school. I was very, very bad at history. And your, I have to say, your English is better than mine. I think so. Whoever's teaching you English at school is doing a fantastic. A fantastic <laughs> why, job. Why do you think that your your English is worse than mine? Come on. I do. I, I'm just really surprised, like how good your English is. Perfect. Thank you, but I, I have uh, some more to learn. So, uh, and I, I can't speak Ukrainian, so I think it would probably be very, very difficult for me. But maybe yeah. I should try <laughs> before. Ru Russian is is difficult, but Ukrainian is more difficult because. Oh really. Yeah, because uh, like uh, when you have the language uh, rules, like what what it should do in this case, in Ukrainian we have uh, lots of vunyatok uh, is exception, and we have uh, like to the one rule we have uh, thirty words that uh, don't uh, don't belong to this rule, oh, like gosh. that that you should write another way, uh, but uh, first you you can think. Uh, that yeah, I should use this rule like here, but uh, it's not here, <laughs> so it's hard. No, Even I don't think you, I don't think Ukrainian is going to be the first language on my list. I think I need to start with something a bit, a bit easier. Do you speak any other languages? Uh, so uh, I speak three languages: Russian, Ukrainian, English. But uh, now I'm a beginner level of uh, studying Turkish. So Turkish. Yeah. Wow. Are there any plans to do uh, your song in any different languages? Um, I guess no, because uh, my favorite English to uh, listen to the songs and to write songs is English. So uh, in my song this year, um, all uh, like all English lyrics were mine. Like uh, I did them all by myself. Wow. Uh, so and uh, Ukrainian lyrics were only partly mine. Uh, so uh, it's much easier to write in English. Uh, so I guess that's my priority language, I guess. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, maybe if you win, maybe you will do some uh, some uh, covers in different languages. Everyone will be wanting to hear 
your song. Now, you mentioned um, previous participants at Junior Revision, and I, I got to meet uh, Sophia Ivanko last year uh, mm -hmm. in Poland. I want to know, who she. have you been in touch with any of them? Have they given you any advice? Yeah, of course I was. They uh, both supported me on this uh, year's selection, so uh, and uh, I know them both uh, a long time because uh, here, like uh, we, uh, like sometimes meet uh, on the same uh, stages, like and something like this. So uh, we know each other for a long for a long time, and uh, of course they given me advices how it how it's gonna be. Is it gonna be hard or what is should do in this case? So <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good to hear. Now I've got some uh, I've got some questions uh, for you. They're very very quick questions, but I want to know what's your favorite movie first of all. If you were having a chill out night, mm -hmm. what movie would you be watching? Oh, that's hard, but. I think uh, that's the, my favorite movie is uh, Men in Black Part One. Oh, classic! I like your choice. <laughs> Bit of a Will Smith fan. Yeah, Will Smith is so good. <laughs> uh, your uh, who's your biggest uh, idol? Like who? It can be musical I, or. I guess Michael Jackson. Oh man, you're coming out with some good answers. What's your favorite? What's your favorite MJ song? Um, I have a lot of them, but I think it's some something or uh, it's uh, Dirty Diana or uh, She Drives Me Wild from Dangerous album. Oh wow! Okay, My, I've got a bit of a weird choice for mine. It's Earth Song. I don't know if you know that one. Uh, once again, say it, please. Earth Song. Don't make me sing it. Oh, yeah, I know it. I actually uh, sang it on uh, Voice Kids Ukraine. So, yeah, I know it. Oh, I'm going to have to look up that performance. Absolutely love yeah. it. was love two years ago, I guess. Okay, I'm going to check it out on YouTube, and our viewers need <laughs> to do that as well. Um, okay, what uh, TV show would you binge watch? So, like, would you watch all – you could spend a whole day just watching episodes of this okay. TV. So, uh, I don't think I have a TV – my favourite TV show – so uh, you mean like a series, yeah? Yeah. So uh, I watched uh, not too much of them, as some people do. Uh, but uh, I think my favorite one is uh, House of Cards. Oh, I've never seen it. It's great. Like politics and everything and, uh, like this. Oh, wow. I'll, give, I'll, I'll check it out. <laughs> and it's on Netflix, is it? It is. Right. We'll check that one out. Uh, where do you go? Uh, where's your favorite place to go uh, to completely be relaxed and chill out and just get some time to yourself? Maybe to write some music. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, I I didn't decide what's uh, like what's my favorite place to uh, chill and relax. I get this my it's uh, my room. Where, uh, I'm I'm in it now. But uh, if we talk about my uh, favorite place to travel, uh, I guess now uh, I want to uh, travel to uh, Los Angeles because I've already been in New York and I like it so much. So uh, I have uh, some more American cities to uh, go to. And uh, also maybe I, wanted, I would want to visit uh, Tokyo and uh, London, of course. <laughs> wow. Have you been to London before? No, I haven't. Oh, I think you'd like it. So much for you to see here. <laughs> yeah, uh, actually, I've been to London, but uh, I've been to uh, Heathrow Airport uh, by transit. <laughs> like, so we don't. We it's not so it. nice. Yeah, no, Heathrow Air Airport is uh, great. It's one of the best uh, I've been to. Like, you <laughs> haven't seen the New York Airport. Like, it's really bad. Oh, is it really? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's like there's a uh, lots of tourists going through it, and like every every year, so uh, it's uh, feeling not so good. Well, remember, I'm not getting on a plane anywhere, so I probably won't ever. <laughs> I won't ever see it. But I have so been if to. You will go to if you uh, if you will go to the US, you will go by by a ship. <laughs> take me weeks. <laughs> yeah. But I have been to um I have been to Kiev, and that's where you're living at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, I live in Kiev. Uh, so if you were going to, if I was visiting Kiev and you were going to take me uh, to show me one place, where would you show me? 
uh, in Kiev we have like uh, some touristic place places that are like uh, there are lots of people here uh, although uh, like the Ki Kiev is not so popular like uh, for tourism for tourism but uh, I would take you uh, I guess to Chernobyl oh wow actually because uh, Chernobyl is the biggest like touristic space in Ukraine because uh, uh, although it was like uh uh bad things happening here but now it's uh, a great example how uh, nature can uh, how nature can uh, fight the people if they're not like if they're not here like we can see uh old buildings uh with no one here and with uh old stuff uh, left here that that wasn't taken by people uh like with them uh, and uh, we can see like uh, the big uh, Soviet buildings uh, like abandoned with the trees and everything in them. Like it's it's so great to see. Yeah, and the fairground as well, isn't it? Because they've still got the fairground rides there, I think. Uh, radioactive, you mean? Like a radioactive zone? Uh, no, you know the, the, the fairground, like the, uh, with the rides for the children. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I can say it in Ukrainian. I, can, I, I can't understand you actually. Sorry, but uh, yeah, can you say like it like. A theme, like a theme park. Theme oh, park theme rides, park, like yeah. roller coasters. There is a, uh, a big, big wheel, wheel, like that's. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, yeah. Wow, actually, what a good choice because actually I've always wanted to go there. And when I was in, uh, when I was in Kiev, it was uh, when you had Eurovision there. Um, and unfortunately, I didn't have time to go. So I was really disappointed. So next time I visit Ukraine, I'm going to go there and I'm also going to go to Lvov as well because that's another yeah Lviv is a great city it's uh it has a like great architecture like Vienna or uh uh other like West European cities because it was really influenced by them uh, a long time ago so there there's a lot of great architecture here uh, well, uh, we've got some ideas uh, on what, what movies we should be watching and I need to watch The House of Cards. I need to go to New York on a plane, <laughs> apparently, to see the airport. Um, uh, it's been great talking to you uh, tonight and we hope to catch up with you, actually, before, uh, again, before Junior Eurovision, when you've, uh, when you've got your performance all polished and we can maybe talk to you a bit more about that. Um, have you got a message for uh, for your fans and people that love your song and all of our all of our viewers? What would you like to say to them? Uh, so uh, I would like to say to you that uh, right now you can uh, go to Junior Eurovision's official YouTube channel, watch my video for the song, uh, comment it uh, or like it, like uh, show me what do you feel about it, and uh, of course uh, watch the Junior Eurovision. Uh, 29th November and uh, vote for your favorite performer. Yeah, but vote for Ukraine. <laughs> vote for Ukraine. <laughs> Alexander, okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for this. Thank you so much uh, for talking Ukraine. to us.